Uh, let's move on uh, with our, our global market check uh, with our expert, in fact, Michael uh, Gayard. He is the chief investment strategist at Pension Partners. He joins us from New York. Uh, good morning, Michael. Thanks for joining us. Uh, first up, it was a good week for the U.S. markets. The S&P at its highest since 2008. Uh, the fundamentals also uh, backing uh, with uh, data from the U.S. has now uh, been uh, showing some bit of encouragement. How do you look at all of this? I think in general, we're moving in the right direction. It's important to realize that it's not just now the global economic reflation trade and theme which is pushing markets up, but I would actually argue that oil prices rising at the pace they are rising is actually bullish for equity. If oil prices rise in a gradual way, that means that there's going to be expectations for future inflation going forward. That means money will come out of the bond market and likely into stocks. So I think. In general, it looks like the, 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 it's very hard for this trend now to stop going higher. Michael, uh, the G20 summit in Mexico, uh, where leaders, in fact, saying that there could be a $2 trillion rescue, uh, they, they have, of course, explicitly refused to offer Europe any help if they don't, uh, on their own, bolster their own finances. How do you look at all of this? Uh, will the markets be crucially watching out for what happens in Europe next week? Yeah, I, I think so, and I will say that, you know, the more trillions that the market hears, the better the market will feel. In other words, as more and more money is being thrown at the problem, the market will be able, will continue to respond in a favorable way because the more money that's thrown at it, the less likely you have a possibility of a 2008 uh, recession or repeat on a global basis. So I think globally, the G20, I think everyone is basically afraid uh, of a uh, economic financial meltdown, so they're willing to take out every possible insurance imaginable to prevent that from happening. Michael, beyond what's happening at the G20 summit, what are the other key uh, trigger points for the markets? I mean, there's a lot of data coming out, uh, crude oil prices, like you mentioned, at near $110. How is that uh, going to impact uh, on the markets, and specifically, how is this week likely to pan out? I suspect everyone actually probably will be fixated on oil prices going forward. If oil begins to continue to rally while stocks do not, in other words, if the correlation breaks down between the price of oil and the price of equities, that will be something that will be a big problem. In other words, if oil prices are going to continue to trend higher, people will be looking at the stock market to see if it's going to move along with it. If it doesn't, and I suspect this is the next focus for the next three, four weeks, that's going to be really a big issue globally. So oil looks like the oil is the new Greece in terms of market attention. All right, Michael, many thanks for joining us there from the U.S. The NDTV News app had redefined the entire genre. Now another market beater. It's already hit number one. NDTV Profit, India's number one finance app. Download free at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Live stream of NDTV Profit, market news and your easy to manage portfolio. Download now ndtvprofit.com slash apps.